Oh, he gets Commissar Bro here today. Uh, this time we're with Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail by Game Labs. If you've uh, followed my channel at least a little bit, you know that I'm, I'm a huge fan. Especially Ultimate General Civil War and Ultimate General Gettysburg. Honestly, this, this one, I think, still needs a lot of work. But I still think it's a phenomenal game. You should definitely go buy it and support the devs. <laughs> I'm actually in the last battle of the American campaign, and uh, hopefully we're going to win it. And we're actually going to sit here and try to upgrade a bunch of this stuff, too. Because we got a lot of money. I don't I don't know if you're actually looking at how much money I got, but we got pretty much all the monies. And don't ignore the fact that i basically been playing this game on easy. Don't worry about that. Because <laughs> I'm actually really bad at it. I, I think I'm pretty good at Ultimate General Civil War, but I'm pretty, pretty bad at this game. I guess just naval combat has never been my strong suit in any game. So, you know, a lot of this is, like, actually uh, buying your cannons and shit and upgrading your ships with the cannons, customizing the ships like that. There's a lot of different guns and whatnot to choose from. It's kind of hard to really figure out, like, all right, well, what's best for my ship? A lot of it kind of depends. I feel like the stats don't, uh, exact these three stats anyway, don't do a good job of just saying, like, sure, they sum up range, reloading, and damage, but... What does that really mean? When then you, because I mean, some can have really high damage, but then it's it's accuracy, as you see by the crosshair there, is really low or something like that. Pop this thing with a lot of dudes. That's pretty much what I do. Is I just like pack my ships down with a lot of sweaty sailor meat and go into battle, and it seems to work pretty well for me so far. Finally, glorious battle will be joined between the Americans and its bid to create a new nation and the British and their bid to tax our tea. It looks like we've already got some dudes over here fighting through to the British so we can stand up to their invincible fleet. They've been saying that this whole game. Like, this whole game they've been talking about how the British have an invincible fleet. Really? Because I have spanked that ass up and down the coast. We went all the way to their house and then spanked that ass further. This is the biggest ship I have seen thus far. It is a 126 gun first rate ship of the line. That is beautiful. You see that thing? Look at all those guns. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh man. That Add something with firepower right there. That's I want that. This is my biggest ship, obviously. The Imperator. It's got 90 guns. 90 guns of pure angry American fury, baby. Honestly, I probably should have named it the Freedom. What's going on here? Why is all my was the ships turning? You going you going home? We're gonna fix literally all of what you're doing. Send him towards a target. I mean, really, I think we can win this, but it at this point, because it's the end of the campaign, I don't really think it matters how much I lose. Don't let my men hear me saying that, though. They might be kind of concerned. If we lose a couple guys, it's not that big of a deal. All right, so we're sending a Dark Spire. We're sending in the Hopeless. As you can see, I name my ships in a relatively edgy fashion. Uh, pretty much, if it's not a middle schooler cutting their wrist to those names, then I imagine they're not worth making. They give you so so many ships that honestly it's like for me it's almost un unmanageable i'm not good at managing battles this big you see all these guns and then it's like they got all these guns and then they try to just fit a couple more on top <laughs> like that's gonna make any difference at all god damn <laughs> Well, I don't know what you're shooting there, buddy, but it ain't working. I'm gonna need you to get something better. Yeah, these French ships, man, I swear, they basically just put, like, BB guns in their giant-ass ships. That's like me. You wait till the Imperator gets up here. Like, you wait to see what this thing's got packing. There's a bunch of little tiny cannons. Like, of course, you can't even really see them popping out. But I promise you, you're gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> it's pretty much the way I looked at it was I was kind of like, you know what? I like boarding actions. I like capturing ships. So... Why would I build a ship that pretty much does not come standard with shotguns? <laughs> lots and lots of shotguns. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful flag. All right, so let's see. <laughs> it's a little short. A little short. We got to get closer. And we've got the HMS Invincible in our sight. So we're about to find out exactly how effective our shots can be at point blank from the Imperator once it's done reloading. And actually we're gonna we're gonna literally drop anchor right here. Good aim boys. Good aim. <laughs> Good. Well we got twelve guys in that one little volley there. But now that actually you know what what might be more interesting to see? Let's actually see a full 
broadside on the left side and see what happens. We're gonna speed it up because these guns take goddamn forever to reload. Ooh, did you see how much damage we just did to the armor? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna stop playing games and we're gonna, we're actually gonna board these guys. <laughs> Cause we got, we got business with them. Yeah. Bring him in close, boys. Bring him in close. Like, pretty much assume the Imperator is the front of my fleet. And then you've got, like, the Hopeless here. And then all these ships in the back are mine. The rest are all the French ships. I don't really care about the French ships. So, uh, hopefully they don't die. So, we've captured the Invincible. We're actually gonna go... We're gonna put some guys on it, though. So we maintain the fact that it... Because basically what will happen in this game is if you don't fully capture a crew or whatever, I, I shit you not, they will just get right back up and start fighting again. Which, I mean, it, it makes sense. It's aggravating, but it makes sense. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful shot. Beautiful. 20, 28. We killed 28 of their crew in just one volley. So this whole thing is basically just going to be me looking at the Imperator and watching her just do her thing, which is this. <laughs> Point blank shots with canister shot and getting on other dude's ships. You'll, the more you watch me play, the more you'll kind of realize I'm really bad at microwing and stuff like that. And I get distracted incredibly easily. What, like, see, what, what the fuck were you even shooting at? Like, what was that? What was that? They're like literally all sharks surrounding this ship. I'm just like, oh yeah, what you gonna do now, HMS America? Let's actually try to shoot out its sails. Or we could just try to sink it. By the way, for people interested in this game, there is actually a British campaign as well. I haven't done it, so don't ask me about it. But it's a thing that exists. Look at this, look at this ballsy dude coming up here like he's gonna hit us. Get them point blank cannonballs, boy. Wow! <laughs> we like, that one little volley almost completely wiped out their, uh, their armor on the right side. The Imperator's crew is, uh, starting to become very small. <laughs> it started out with a thousand guys and it's down to 600. You know, I wish they would actually kind of show boarding combat, but, I don't know, maybe that's gonna be a thing they do eventually in the future. Because right now it's kind of just like two ships are touching tips and people are dying on both sides. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what, what, what is this? We scraping up against each other. We were like making ourselves an easier target for our enemies. Nice job, guys. Good job. I'm proud of you. Let's see, how are they doing? How are you guys doing, fellas? You doing okay? Well, it looks like you're not losing yet. So I'm assuming things are going all right. This is a giant clusterfuck, first off, like an absolute mess of ships just kind of like grating up against each other. Everybody's just touching everybody. And we might actually start sending some of our other ships to go assist our French allies. Because I'm sure by this point in time, they're starting to have trouble. Have they surrendered yet? No, they haven't. Wonderful. See, I don't think people give the French enough credit, honestly. I think as a, as a whole, we're really mean to the French. When really, the French are some pretty interesting guys and gals and everything in between. But honestly, it does look like my French people are about to surrender, which... DON'T LIVE BY THE STEREOTYPE, YOU SONS OF BITCHES! <laughs> I WAS JUST TALKING YOU UP! Don't run, baby. We're coming in. We're coming in to assist. We're gonna give you that fat, juicy American steak that I know deep down, deep down, you want it. <laughs> My dudes got killed on the, the Bella Q. That sucks. They fought for their freedom and their rights. Those brave bastards. You know, just ram. Just ram them. Boom. Oh, pfft, that didn't work out in our favor, did it? <laughs> well, we sunk the HMS America, baby. Good job. Good job. The one that's named after us. And then all the little boats try to get away. <laughs> Block their escape! Don't let them run! The Imperator is making good speed going the wrong way, so we need him to turn around. I probably should slow the game down, but, you know, mama didn't raise no bitch. And see, the Provence is about to sink. Honestly, since it's fighting for the bad guys, I'm cool with sinking my own ship. Wait a minute! Wait, what? <laughs> There's two! This is just utter confusion! Is that mine or is it not mine? Whatever. I'm assuming it's mine. It needs to die. 
We must take it down. Yeah, shoot cannonballs at their little boats. Oh, they went underwater. Look how tiny they are. They're basically already sinking. All right, you guys. Hey, I need y'all to come over here and kill the Bedford. The Bedford is kind of a problem. And the Europe, I mean, she's going to sink eventually. I feel like that was almost some type of, like, geopolitical joke that I made that I didn't intend to make. And no, China, we're not we're not talking about you. Stay out of the conversation, China. Like, what if you could have, like, all, all the major world powers ships, you know? Wouldn't that be, that'd be, I think that'd be pretty legit. This ship, the Bafleur, because I think this is their biggest, most powerful ship they have now. Since we've literally sunk everything else they've got. And honestly, these ships are sinking quick. It's like the Titanic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> the Wiseman. I can't have the Wiseman sink. It was my first ship of the line. Get it out of there, boys. Or surrender. I'm fine with you surrendering, honestly, at this point in time. It doesn't really matter. Drop anchor, boys. This is the last ship. If we sink this, we win. It's game over. A glorious, glorious victory for the independence. They put up a grand fight, those British boys. But unfortunately for them, we are a Medica with French aid. Ignore that part. But we are a Medica. Boom. Nice. Good job. See, we did it. Only one of our ships were sunk. We captured five enemy ships, and we sunk five enemy ships. But again, I am playing on easy, so do not for a minute take this as me being good at the game. Congratulations. Thank you. For all that you have done for us, Admiral. Oh, it's no problem at all. If anything, I was glad to assist. And it shows us all the medals we got. Descendants of our nation will remember your name as blah, blah, blah. The person who did some things. Well, I, I want to see the losses, but I can't. Yep, I'm not going to get to see my kill screen. That's disappointing. Well, it is still an early access, so I guess it's fair enough. But anyway, thank you so much for watching me play. And, uh, we, uh, we win. So, uh, yay America. This has been CB. I'll see you next time.